Hi, do you think it's sad when plants don't look hot? Then you're gonna love today's episode. You're very loud. Welcome back to Laugh Cry DIY. I am your host, Katie, and spring has sprung. Unfortunately, because of the state of the world, for many of us, depression has hung around. Luckily, studies have shown that plants can help lift your spirits, but there's only one problem in the plant world. But there's only one problem. Plant pots can be so boring. Now, per usual, I've been depression scrolling through all of the popular home decor sites. Anthropology, West Elm, CB2. And I found a lot of cute planters with some beautiful silhouettes. And then I looked at their price tag and I died. And also the colors they come in were way too basic for me. So since I'm cheap, I decided that I'm gonna dollar store and thrift store some dupes. And I'm gonna put a little fun, colorful twist on them to brighten all of our spirits. So let's make it happen protective covering. Ooh, let's change the angle for fun. Our first planter is inspired by the Anthropology Mesa Pot. As you can see, it has these adorable little bead handles. It comes in a few kind of cute colors and it has this basket weave pattern on it. It's $38 for a nine inch pot. That isn't crazy, but to be honest, although I like the colors this comes in, that basket weave texture actually gives me like the heebie-jeebies. I don't know what it is, but my favorite thing about the pot was those cute little handles on the side. So I thought, let me make my version of it. So I got a dollar store fish bowl, and I wanted to find wood beads that would be appropriately to scale. I didn't want them to be too small, I didn't want them to be too thick, and the craft section at my dollar store did not have wood beads. But then I went to the pet aisle and I found these bird swings, which have little wood beads on them and are actually like the perfect size to make these handles out of. Alrighty, now you could like E6000 glue the beads on. I'm gonna use Gorilla Hot Glue, which has a little bit stronger bond. We're gonna paint these after. If any of these beads fall off during that painting process, guess what? I'll glue them back on. This is so good. I'm telling you, if you're a dollar store girl or boy, and you're looking for like craft inspiration at the dollar store, go to the pet aisle. I'm telling you, they have really cool stuff like little things to make an aquarium, fish bowls, all sorts of supplies that can be made into other things. And that's something that no one ever thinks about and I'm here to talk about it. I can't believe I found little mini bird swing wooden beads, that's so cool. Fun fact, I used to work for a magazine publisher that published animal magazines and sometimes they would use employees as models. So I actually have been in Bird Talk magazine. Ta -da. Oh, so cute. All right, now we wanna give this a ceramic look so you know we're gonna use the TikTok hack. Now, I wanted to do a color that was very bright and very cheerful. So I actually have this incredible coral pink kind of color. Um, it is Summer Sun Pink by Benjamin Moore. And I'm gonna do a slightly lighter version. This is just lighter pink paint and we're tossing in some baking soda. Oh my God, a giant lump. Oh no. And now is the moment where we find out whether or not all these beads are about to fall off. Alrighty, first coat down, let's let her dry. And we're back for round two. Oh my God, do you see how opaque that is? <gasps> Stunning. Damn it, lost another bead off camera. Cannot find that bead for the life of me, so we'll just do an extra one. I think this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna let it dry. If I need to hit it with a third coat, I will, but I think that for this one, we're pretty much done. Next up, we are creating a planter inspired by the West Elm Ceramic Fluted Planters. They have a cute pedestal base, they have fluting all around. It's simple but sophisticated. These range from $29 to $179. So to make these planters, I have a thrifted base and two foam floral rounds. 
These are super hard styrofoam. You can get them at the dollar store. And if you look at that, they make the perfect little pedestal base. To put the fluting on the outside, we're using little dollar store wooden round dowels. You can get these in all sorts of sizes. You can cut them down to whatever size you want. So to start, we are just hot gluing these two floral rounds together. Wow, revolutionary. By the way, hot glue gun tip. You know how oftentimes you're like struggling to get this in when you're running out of glue? Hot glue the edge, stick it to the other piece of glue that's in there and then it'll easily feed itself through. And now we are just gonna start hot gluing these all around. So the pedestal base of the original planter has a fluted pattern, however it's a lot thicker. And all week I've been thinking, how can I recreate that on the base? And the best option is to take wine corks and cut them in half and use those as little half rounds all the way around the base. Those would be smart to do. I'm not gonna do those, so mine's gonna look a little bit different. What I have is this. This used to be part of the roll top of a cabinet that I flipped. If you wanna see that episode, click here. Um, but it does have that kind of divoted, fluted texture. So I'm actually just gonna cut out a strip of that and hot glue it around. And if you wanna know how to measure something round and you're lazy and you don't wanna like use an actual measuring tape, just cut a length of string to the exact circumference and then measure off of that. Switching scissors. You guys, I have to tell you, I'm so mad that I just thought about the wine cork hack I could have done because I have been saving wine corks for years and years. Why did I drink? <gasps> Why did I drink all that wine if I wasn't gonna use it? <sighs> could that edge be any more flush? Oh yeah. Now, if you wanted to, you could fill the gaps in between the dowels with spackle just to make sure it's like totally flush and smooth. I feel pretty okay with this one. I think it looks pretty filled in. So it is time to paint. And I'm feeling sassy because it's spring. So we are going with lavender. The technical legal name, according to the government, is Gloss Gumdrop by Krylon. Those are gonna dry and once they do, I'm gonna hot glue that base back on. All right, let's keep this craft train rolling. Next up, we are going to be duping the Bishop Ceramic Planters from West Elm. Same thing, they've got this cute base, they've got this cute top. I wanna do a mini version and I wanna make it a little more sassy. So I have thrifted a ceramic little ramekin and I'm pulling an old candle jar that's full of candle residue from my collection. And this is gonna be groundbreaking, controversial, shocking, but we're gonna glue it to the bottom. But first, let's put some hot water in here to get this wax out. Ooh, clean, beautiful. And now we're gonna spray paint this top part and we are going with gorgeous, delicious, gloss citrus green by Krylon. So this is like between a yellow and a neon green and it's perfect for our spring colorful vibes. Alrighty, we got this beautiful lemon lime green vase and I just wanna do a simple pattern on this. I wanna do something fun and wavy and almost a little groovy. So this is just a regular chalk paint and it's actually gonna give this a two textured um, look, which I don't mind. I might hit these with a third coat, but I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna let these dry, hot glue these together, and we're moving on. Now, you guys might find this shocking and devastating, but what we're making is not technically a planter. Technically, it's a vessel slash base. So this piece is inspired by the Charlie Sprout line of like woven vessels. And I particularly liked the ones that had these fun little like polka dots on them, but I thought we could dupe a similar look with very simple supplies. And that is dollar store vase and cotton twine. 
You could technically spray paint these and do them how you want, but because these vessels are technically woven, I wanted to bring in a sort of like fiber texture. So I'm very simply just gonna start hot gluing this down and we're gonna start wrapping. By the way, did I mention that the Charlie Sprout vessels are $490? Yowza. This is super cute on its own, especially if you're like a boho gal. This one's for my transitional ladies who love neutrals. I can't relate, but I do love and respect you. Now we're gonna make our little polka dots, and that is very simple. Same thing. Look, look how much we have left. We're just gonna roll these in little spirals and glue as we go. And what's great is that you can make these to any size you want. See? Cute. Alrighty, paint time. So we have our wrapped base, and I made about 400 million of the little polka dots. Um, these take a long time because um, they're very delicate and you have to burn your hands 500 times, but I have enough that they're very cute. Now, because this is actually a woven fabric, I'm gonna make a kind of watered down like dye bath and then just blot that on and let it dry. So for the actual vase, I'm going to just take this tangerine, add a little water, mix that all up, Basically, I made this the color of Sunny D. All right, I can already tell that the color is drying a little lighter than I wanted to, but I'm just gonna let this dry for now. now. For the polka dots, we're gonna do like a bolder orange. Are you ready for number one? Instant dye, amazing. Anywhere that like hot glue had seeped out or that I used it to like fuse pieces together, that did not accept the dye. So we are gonna have to hand paint these. Let's see if this works better. Yep. Alrighty, vase is dry. Let's try going in with just straight up paint. I realized on my first coat, uh, I was not as thorough as I thought I was, and now it kind of looks like I um, was eating hot Cheetos and rubbed my hands all over them. Okay, sponge definitely works better because you can work it into the fibers. Oh, shut it. Oh baby, look at that. Um, this is beautiful. I'm gonna let her dry and then we're gonna come back to hot glue on the polka dots. It's a pepperoni pizza. I think I'm gonna do some scotch tape to figure out my placement and then we will hot glue them on. Get over it. Great job. Well friends, now that we've given all of these ladies their spring makeover, I think it's finally time to see your big reveal. Well friends, what a fun episode it's been. This was such a super easy, simple craft. I loved getting to do all those. Such a fun way to bring a little bit more joy and cheer to your life. So if you like this, like it. If you wanna subscribe, subscribe. And in the meantime, my cat just found the missing bead. Okay, bye.